you guys my name is rage and we're back today with a quick video on saving gold and how i've amassed the over 37 million now in my account you know it is no secret i do get this question quite a bit so i am hoping to walk you guys through a couple of my tips tricks and pointers but to be quite frank you guys um the ma the balance in my account here as you can see here is over 37 million gold now and really the key thing for me has just been saving it up over time um, there isn't really a big secret there. I know I get this question quite a bit, but let me simplify this further in terms of how I've amassed gold um, through the various means in the game. First and foremost, you know, you always do have to set a budget. For me, I determined what my 24-hour spending amount was. I know some people, if they just have a lot of gold, they just decide to go ahead and maximize all the milestones. For me personally, I actually, if I don't need anything immediate, I generally end up anywhere from the 650, 650,000. To the 1 million and the key reason I do recommend those two points of uh, of spending is because you know that is generally where the power cores cap out and I like to get my best bang for buck because you can see following milestone 10 here um, it essentially really is just a build up of additional orange and blue gear materials and for me um, if you're gonna go ahead with spending you might as well make the, the best for your bang for your buck uh, especially in you know in reality we set a budget and we stick with it so for instance if I gave you two thousand dollars would you spend it all in one day? Um, you know, I, for me, I would determine what my daily spending is, and then I would allocate it accordingly for that $2,000. So that's really what I've done. I treat this $37 million as if, you know, this is my total amount that I'm saving in, in real life, and how would I spend that? I would not normally spend it all in one day. Uh, the other key thing, you guys, is uh, if I go ahead and look, show you my roster here, you can see there's some really familiar faces here in terms of the characters I've utilized for Dark Dimension 3. But you can see here, I've generally brought about 14, 15 characters into Dark Dimension 3. And uh, most of them, uh, the ones I brought in, have to be t tier 14. Uh, if you look here, you know, those are actually the, the top characters I have here are the ones I actually brought into Dark Dimension 3. The only exception that I've brought into t uh, tier 13 is Black Bolt. But as you've known in the previous videos, as well as other content creators, Black Bolt's not that useful for Dark Dimension 3. So that's why you also don't see him tier 14. But otherwise, every other character is tier 13 or lower. Um, Invisible Woman's another one I brought up, and I just haven't brought her to T14 because I haven't utilized her in Dark Dimension 3. Uh, so with that being said, what I'm trying to say is really kind of know which characters you're bringing into the late game because that way it's going to help you maximize uh, gear level and tier level, right? So for instance, um, these characters after... Following, uh, following my highest, my best, they're generally around tier 11, tier 10. So you can see here uh, with the, any of these characters from the bottom of this list here after my Dark Dimension 3, they're generally in that in that region. So that's how I've kind of allocated my resources uh, uh, with the exception of any kind of uh, specific nodes I've used them for in campaign unlocks. But um, otherwise, uh, for me, that's what kind of helped me save materials, especially if they're limited for you, especially with gold being the cap. For me, uh, I know a lot of players have had an issue where gold is the bottleneck. For me, it hasn't been that case if you're just strategic. But what else also helps? Every day, if you guys are able to go ahead and finish your daily objectives, as you can see here, you can see that there's a little bit of gold always added, right? So, you know, go ahead and claim that. On top of that, on the daily challenges here, you can see that we always maximize our value too as well. With Gold Rush, you know, it comes three times a week. Uh, same with the medical supply run. You can definitely do that as well. I, what happens with the medical supply run is if you're actually over already the uh, 500 Blitz credits here uh, in terms of the charges, uh, you, any excess that you get is actually giving gold. So what you can do is you can go ahead and actually hit the refresh on the daily challenge for uh, the medical supply run. And you also get gold on top of that. So that's kind of what what's helped me as well. Uh, last but not least with spending, um, just make sure you guys always target what you're aiming for in the in the game, right? So for instance, for me, uh, I know what my limit's gonna be now. It's gonna be anywhere from 650,000 to a million per day. And then what I'll do is I'll always take a look at the supply store, you know, but always kind of keep in mind of that budget, right? So I'll see some items here. And really the only ones I typically target is gonna be uh, the T13 material. So these guys right here, for sure I'll buy it. You know, the titanium alloy, 100% I'll buy it. And what this does over time is it, it helps me build up those materials while still building up my gold in preparation for when I need it. So uh, for me, generally these guys I don't really need unless they're low on material. But otherwise, that's really where I use the gold in. And then any excess I have here, as you can see here after that, it was about 300,000. So I can spend about uh, anywhere from 300 to 700,000 to train my character. So that's, and then my budget set for the day. So that's really what's helped me in terms of kind of building that up. What, all, what I've also found very useful is um, 
I know with a lot of players, the moment you get gold orbs, you do actually just open them up. For me, I only open these up when I get 100 orbs. And, and I'm sure you guys have seen that in my earlier videos where I captured in terms of how much gold you can generally get with every 10 orbs. So for me, by doing that, there's a huge burst that always comes uh, when I open those 100 orbs. So I know that's coming for sure. So I have 37 million, but I also have another 55 orbs waiting to be opened. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm going to wait till 100. And, and generally what I found with this one is... You can build hundred. You can build up hundred orbs in the game naturally in a few months just by playing the game regularly and collecting and earning those milestones. And especially with the, the more events that Scopely has, uh, the better, right? So that's really what's kind of helped me in that respect. Um, and really, last but not least, here you guys uh, just make sure that when you when you set up your your daily game plan in terms of collecting gold, just make sure you're sticking to the budget. But uh, last but not least here, it is going to be the Dark Dimension nodes, right? So uh, you're going to get a lot of gold orbs. If you guys haven't started already, you're going to get a lot of gold orbs from Dark Dimension 1 running it twice. Dark Dimension 2 running it twice. And then I'm also in the middle of Dark Dimension 3 right now uh, on my second run. So uh, all those amass a lot of orbs as well for rewards. So those are the ones I would definitely think about saving if I were you guys, especially if you need gold. But bottom line, um, the key points is budgeting. And really knowing which characters to invest in and what i've done is i've researched over and over in terms of which characters are actually worthy of bringing on to the next uh tier level as well as uh, the dark dimension notes that's really what helped me maximize efficiency now that's not to say i won't build up other characters i like over time it's just i like to maximize at least my bang for buck especially when i'm 100 free to play i definitely don't have that same caveat of the other people that has that opportunity to lock uh, new characters and new um, new content in the game right so i definitely have to be smarter with my choices so hope this is able to provide some insight at least for you guys do appreciate you checking my videos but i know i got this question quite a bit so hopefully this is able to kind of um help you guys in terms of your farming and overall improving your goal levels so thank you and as always i'll see you in the next one